hunter becomes a hunter. A young lady and her father, winners of our Take Your Kid Hunting Contest, join us in South Dakota's rich habitat. It's there that Hunter shoots her first pheasant, a milestone in her and our life. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. Help welcome another young hunter to our ranks in grand style in America's pheasant capital at Cheyenne Ridge Signature Lodge near Pierre, South Dakota. Well, this is the new home place for Wing Shooting USA. It's the Ruggs Ranch near Hefner, Oregon. Hope you can join us here sometime. Or at the Quail Creek Plantation in Florida. That's where we're headed on the Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes this year. Go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win. This week on the show, speaking of winners, we're bringing Hunter and her father. Yeah, that's right. She won our Take Your Kid Hunting Sweepstakes last year. We're headed for the Cheyenne Ridge Signature Lodge in South Dakota. I hope you have as much fun watching as we did making the show. My A-liner pop-up trailer is pointed at Pier, South Dakota. Overlooking the mighty Missouri River is Cheyenne Ridge Signature Lodge. Luxurious accommodations amid lush and diverse habitat types. Young or not, everyone hears the safety talk at Cheyenne Ridge. Some televised motivation and a little strategy illustrated with unusual resources acquaint our New Jersey guests with how things are done in pheasant country. Based on my surveys, I know most of you have taken young people into the field. Don't you still get a thrill every time a newcomer smells that dry corn and hears their first rooster cackle? I do. Lucky for all of us, it's a short drive to the first hunt. Birds and dogs are a family affair in the Luxa house. Father Frank is a hunt test judge and hunter and trains champion setters. Hunter is following in her father's boot prints, ready to try her luck at a sport her dad loves. You couldn't ask for a better coach for a first hunt. Spencer is motivational and understanding, and he's trained his crew to be responsive and customer oriented. Both critical attributes when introducing new hunters. Robert is energetic, upbeat, and helpful and Willie knows his dogs. We'll be using flushing breeds for most of the day. These ringnecks just run too fast and far for any sane pointer. These flushers are savvy to pheasants, working close, so when a bird flies, it will likely be in gun range. Watch the springer's tail length. Docked longer than many, it helps balance a jinking, twisting dog in rank cover, much like the labs does. In my book, when it comes to spaniels, the more the merrier, so why not open the trailer and trust to the bird gods? Their tail will start wiggling a little bit more. They'll get a little bit slower in where they go. And we'll all try and tell each other when that's about to happen, because that's when you want to get ready. Of course, safety doesn't come off until you're putting a gun up, but other than that, get ready to shoot. Okay. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to just kind of go down through the ditch here to the other side, and then we're going to walk that far side. We're going to walk it all the way to the west. We're going to walk that, that CRP grass or that Conservation Reserve Program grass, and it's really thick. So we want to make sure that we walk really, really slow so that those so the dogs have plenty of time to work. Okay? Those birds are going to get up, and we're going to be walking right into the wind. So remember when we were talking about how sometimes those birds might get up and they might go right on the top of us? ready for that to happen because we're working right into that wind, okay? All right, anybody got any questions? Nope. When can we go hunting? <laughs> Let's hunt right now. <laughs> All right, boys, go get some birds, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Birds, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Keep even with everybody else. Yeah. Except me. I'm going to be right behind you. Okay. Want me to start walking through here? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, into the good stuff. Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Hey. And then look at this. We got a big dead, we got a big dead mealy buck right here. Whew. Kiwi. Let's get up wind. <laughs> I lied. It's a white tail. Stand by. One's going to come up close. Dad. You got plenty of time to shoot. Okay. Because they're big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go back over here to get up and give you some more room. 
Like any sport, kids respond best when the coaching is positive. I might be talking too much. She's a smart girl and will probably figure things out for herself, as long as she's safe. There you go. A little bit long, but good. All right, stand by. Time to pull the trigger, Hunter. Next on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you in part by Columbia Overland, outfitting my off-road rig and yours too. Happy Jack and their new DuraSpot flea, tick, and mosquito control. My signature series of dog training gear, including the Real Bird Bumper endorsed by George Hickox. And the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Book your next hunt at wingshootingusa.org. Well, that's one of the reasons there is a Ruggs Ranch. That's where all the wheat from the area is stored in the fall. Hope you're having a good time on the show. Hunter and Frank sure were. And if you'd like to enjoy the same kind of experience, go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win our Take Your Kid Hunting sweepstakes. We'll be going to Quail Creek Plantation in Florida for this year's contest. Now, every time you enter, you get the chance to ask a question of me, just like Wyndham Gerard did this time around. Wyndham, for asking a question that gets answered on the air, you'll win one of my real bird bumpers. I'll answer all your questions at our Facebook page. In the meanwhile, ponder this. How do new shooters get started in the sport of hunting? Wyndham, I'll have some advice for you and everybody else later on the show. The Upland Checklist is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. A mix of tungsten and lead in the Kent Pendertrader loads have a shorter shot string for more lethality. My A-liner pop-up trailer pulls easily, saving me big fuel bucks. Filson shirts protect me from brush and UV rays. And earplugs help reduce flinching for most hunters, especially helpful with kids. So who gets the first shot? Let's find out. Going the wrong oh. way. He got oh. smart. He got Woo, smart. There goes another one. Oh, there you go, Frank. Whew. Stand by. Looks like they're coming in bunches. See, they're going to come up at any time. Yep. Okay, this is the big finish. There you go. All right, get ready. There you go! Shoot it, shoot it, Hunter! Oh! Good shot, Frank. Wow, Dad. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Exciting stuff, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Your first South Dakota rooster. Nice job! I think they were beginning to doubt my. <laughs> you gotta wonder what goes through a new hunter's head about now. Doubt it getting any shots? Hopefully, we can alleviate that. Okay. Well, we got the stink off. This ditch is a good ditch, so watch for birds coming out of here, too. Can I hold my gun up now? Yeah, get ready to shoot, yeah. But thanks for asking. So stand by, keep looking back and forth. Oh yeah, these could be fun. They might just come straight up out of these trees or right out of those weeds there. Oh, get ready, get ready. Oh yeah. So that's where Monty Python's Trojan rabbit ended up. <laughs> there you go, shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, never mind. Too late. Choke up just a little bit more. Yeah. Let's practice once. Is your safety off? Yep. All right. Put your gun slowly up to your shoulder. There. All right. Good. Okay. Isn't it? Yep. Watch this guy. Wait a minute. All right. 
I thought he looked birdie for a second. Oh, yeah. If they go straight away, you can shoot at those as long as it's a safe shot. But straight away, you can share. Prepare to be pampered at Cheyenne Ridge. Incredible lodge furnishings, an ice bar, and even indoor five stand will spoil you compared to virtually anywhere else. They've raised the bar on customer service, and in my book, that's a good thing. And it all overlooks the mighty Missouri River and incredible fishing. Hunter's about due for a shot, don't you think? Next on Wing Shooting USA. Buddy and Me is brought to you by Truck Vault. Want to save your dog's life? Invest in a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. And not just because you can clean open wounds with it. If your dog is like mine, he'll swallow almost anything. From garbage to carrion to rocks to chocolate to gloves. And don't ask. Most will pass through, but often it's safer to get it out yeah. sooner rather than later. And that means inducing vomiting, hurling, tossing his cookies, technicolor yawn, even when he doesn't want to. Most of us carry 3% hydrogen peroxide in our first aid kit, so all you need is some way to get it down your guy's gullet. A big syringe or squirt bottle will work. Put a couple tablespoons into the syringe, open his mouth, and make sure it gets swallowed. Keep him close. There. Walk Good him boy. around a bit. And in 10 or 15 minutes, Hurry the uh, problem ought to be on the ground where it started. If not, one more squirt and a little bit of a weight should do it. Just like in humans, you don't want to bring back anything that's caustic or sharp, but it could save you a trip to the vet and a very expensive bill. Hunter's been patient enough, even cordial, watching her dad shoot a bird while she's been denied. I'm hoping we can change that us soon. A signal. Oh, a little bit far for us. Watch it come back this way, into the ditch. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Woo! If it's safe, you shoot. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about him shooting too. He's gonna shoot when you shoot sometimes and vice versa. Oh. Like that, shoot. He's shoot again. Shoot twice all the time, good job. All right, you ready, reload. All right, safety. All right, let's go. Thanks. All we need is one close one. Watch carefully. Right here at this end of this strip is another good spot. When they get to be adults, the thing they fear most is a hawk or somebody coming down from above and grabbing them. So when they get to this edge, they don't want to cross it. They'd rather fly. Nice try. That would have been, that would have been right, perfect. Right <laughs> There's a lot for a kid to cope with. New people, places, dogs, still getting to know your gun. Maintaining poise with all of those challenges is, well, safety. a yep. challenge. All righty. Get ready. Choke up just a little. Bring your fingers up to right about there. Yeah. We got all sorts of good stuff here. Tree, road, oh, he ducked in. Yep. Just make sure you know where all the dogs are. Yeah. Two reasons. You won't shoot them. They'll tell you when the bird's gonna fly. Uh -huh. If it's there, you can shoot it. There, shoot! <laughs> you got a pellet into it. Go ahead and shoot both. Reload. There you go, all right. Watch the dog. Safety on. Bring her up and let's go hunting. All right, 
All right, now it's all about this ditch here. So let's get over here. That's good. Straight down to the fence post. This is where it all happens, Hunter, stand by. Look to your right and to your left regularly, mainly to the right, there you go. That's a dad shot. Nice job. Yeah. Bring him here, bring him here. Oh. oh. Good boy, leave him, leave him, leave him. Oh, good boy. From no shots to missed shots, can you guess what's coming up on Wing Shooting USA? Excellent job, Frank. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you in part by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. Ronnie Smith Kennels and the Rick and Ronnie Smith Silent Command training videos, helping your dog reach its full potential. Ruggs Ranch, the headquarters lodge for Wing Shooting USA. And Upland Nation Jobs, connecting job seekers and employers in the bird hunting world. The business of game birds is the business of agriculture. Managing crops so that there's buffers and edges like that is a way to preserve our hunting heritage. And another way to do that is to take a kid hunting just like Hunter and Frank did on this show. If you'd like to join us next year at the Quail Creek Plantation, then go to wingshootingusa.org and enter to win. While you're there, ask me a question about bird hunting or bird dogs and I'll give you the answer on our Facebook page. If you get picked for your answer right here, then you'll win that Real Bird Bumper from my signature series of dog training gear. Wyndham Gerard, congratulations. You asked about getting started in the sport. A lot of ways to do it. Ask your friends, head to the trap or skeet club and ask around, or go to a local shooting instructor and take a lesson or two. All of those are great gateways to this incredible sport of upland bird hunting. Truck Vault cares about conservation canines and kids, including the Scholastic Clay Target Program, teaching sportsmanship, responsibility, honesty, and teamwork. Learn more and vote at truckvaultcares.com. You could win anything from a truck vault to a South Dakota hunting trip. Tell your friends too, every vote raises money for six great groups, thanks to Wing Shooting USA and Truck Vault. All right, so how are you feeling so far? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Any, any questions I can answer for you? Yeah? Shoot twice. All right. The ammo is free. Use it all up. Every shot means a lighter vest. Have you guided a newcomer? Maybe you know the feeling. If you could buy a bird about now, you would. Now. If the bird goes like this, probably won't, but if it goes like this, shoot it. Well, not when he's right there, but any other time, you can shoot that way. And see Robert way down there? Way down there? Yeah. Don't shoot him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, watch that dog. Watch that dog right there. There you go. Hen, hen. Good dog. Woohoo! Excellent. These birds will probably fly from a little closer to us, so let them get some altitude before you actually shoot. All right, let's bring a bird down. Managing expectations will help make a kid's first hunt a positive experience. It's about having fun, not killing a bird. Sometimes less help is of more help. Shut up unless it's a safety concern. There goes my great shooting ability.
Oh god. Good shot, kiddo. Hey, look at this bird. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Those tears of joy. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, great job. Check out that shot. Give me a high five. five. Awesome job. Good job. Hold them up. Oh, yeah. Do you remember what Two. went through your mind when you shot your first bird? Or when your child did? To be at her side sharing that moment is like no other event. <laughs> I, w I was way on the other side. All I heard was shots. So what happened? Well, I was waiting there, and then all of a sudden I saw it come up. So I just took the safety off, and then I shot. <laughs> it only happens once, so put a date on your calendar, grab your kid, and go. Hunter is now a member of a select group of kids who understand the circle of life, the thrill of the hunt, the beauty of birds, dogs, and the camaraderie and respect of fellow hunters. Way to go. Excellent. These days, an iPhone yes. means you don't have to wait until you get home to tell mom your first hunting story. Watching Frank as he introduced his child to a sport he loves was as gratifying as watching Hunter kill her first bird. If you love hunting, your son or daughter probably will too. And how often do you get to share something like that? I'm Scott Linden. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Facebook. The right fuel will maximize your dog's performance in the field. You'll have to put something special in your vest pocket just for him, though. Anna's suggestion is almost religion among dog trainers. All loud noises should be associated with fun and excitement in a young dog's life, and what's more fun than birds? More tips on introducing young dogs and young people to hunting at my blog. Bookmark scottlindenoutdoors.com. Shelter belts and surrounding scrub at Western Wings in Idaho challenge a mother-daughter brace of labs. It's rough and tumble hunting in the shadow of dramatic mountains flanking Grand Teton National Park. I'm Scott Linden, and we take a crack sporting clay shooter on his first bird hunt. I think you'll get a kick out of the results. Dog training tips and a chance to win a hunting trip too. So join me next time on Wing Shooting USA.